Hey, welcome back to PNW Enduro. I'm out here on a late winter day. Feels like spring, conditions are pretty sweet. So today is the first day on the Sherco with the Smart Carb. I've got the 36 millimeter Smart Carb 2. And I'll be honest, I probably wouldn't have gone back to a carb bike if this wasn't an option. So I've been riding for about an hour and as per Smart Carb, you should give these things about an hour to break in. So when you get them, they're purposely set up a little bit rich. So I've leaned it out a little bit. Uh, right here is your external adjustment right there, that dial. And uh, it's running pretty nice and crisp now. So I'm gonna go hit the trails. Like I said, it was a bit rich when I first started riding and I've leaned it out a bit and got rid of that little bit of bog that was in the, right when you crack the throttle. Now it's got good snap. Just riding some flowier stuff today. Also spend a bit of time just playing with my suspension a little bit more. It's first ride out on some faster trails. Now, a week ago this place was covered in snow and now it's just perfect. So as per Smart Carb, technology elevated, this carb is supposed to give you 10% better power. Honestly, I'm not concerned about the power because this Sherco 300 has got tons of it. But it's also claims of 30% better fuel efficiency, which is huge in the summer when we're doing these big long rides, not having to worry about running out of fuel. Also 50% reduced emissions, which is a really good thing as well. But the key thing for me, the biggest reason that I want this carb on my bike is it self adjusts for temperature and elevation. So I can ride here one day where I'm around maybe 2,000, 2,500 feet today mostly on the lower trails. And then the next day I could go right up in the mountains, 8,000 feet, 9,000 feet, whatever. And no adjustments needed and the bike's gonna run the same. So that is fuel injected type performance and the simplicity of a carburetor. Don't have any sensors to worry about going bad. got one dial to adjust if you want to be richer or leaner but honestly you should probably just have to set it once after you break the carb in and it should be good to go but if you are someone that likes to tinker with the performance you got that external dial no tools needed Look at these trails though. It was supposed to be pouring rain today. Got up this morning, sun was out. It's 
so I'm thinking I'm getting out on my bike while I can. And I'm sure glad I did. You can probably tell on the audio, the bike is sounding pretty crisp. I like to lug around these trails, kind of a gear high. All right, so I'm gonna test the smart car boat on this hill here, it's pretty good hill climb, so give it a good test for the bottom end power and the pull. So that's primarily been a first gear hill for me. Um, that was all second gear. I'm gonna switch down to first because I know there's a rock step up coming back after this next switch back. that hill relatively easy on the 300. So the bottom end power definitely spot on with the smart carb. Back into some flow now. So I know these smart carbs are a pretty big investment. They're not cheap, that's for sure. But if you're someone like me that rides a lot of different places, a lot of different elevations, and temperature is even, and you just want to be able to show up and ride, have your bike work perfect, this is a good option. Keep in mind, you're also gonna save, over the life of the bike and the carb, you're gonna save quite a bit on fuel because it uses a lot less fuel. I will do, at one point, a fuel economy test and see just how far I can go on a tank of gas. And once we get into summer, of course, I'll be testing this in some higher elevations as well. So when you order a smart carb, you talk to Nathan and the guys at Technology Elevated. You tell them what bike you're riding, what kind of mods you've done, if you head or exhaust or whatnot. And you're gonna tell them where you're riding elevation and they're gonna set it up specifically for your bike. Like I said, they come a little bit rich on purpose. So you gotta clean them out a little bit with the clickers, but it is nice to have it tailored to your ride when you get it. And I've dealt with the guys at Technology Elevated over the years. I had a smart car on my 
KTM 250 XC 2017. And I loved it on that bike. And the customer service from those guys is just awesome. They're always willing to help out, get you set up. Any tuning issues, they're gonna be really helpful. They really believe in their product and they back it up. I know some people are gonna say there's nothing wrong with the stock key and carb and you jet it correctly and it's a great carb. And I completely agree. And if I only rode here, I'd probably just keep that stock carb. But because of the riding I do, the smart carb is a big advantage. I can recall on my last bike, there was a ride we did, there's 12 of us, and it was over 100 kilometers, and we had uh, a carbureted two strokes, had my uh, 250XC with a smart carb, we had a couple TPI bikes, and a couple four strokes. And every other bike brought fuel and used it, and I didn't top up my fuel all day, and I still had some left. So that tells you something about how well they work. Now this Sherco, the first couple of rides, has used a lot of fuel with the stock carb. But to be fair, that was the stock jetting, which was way too rich. The first time I've got some fast, flowy stuff on a Sherco. So fun. Trying to do this whole trail with no dabs, but those tight trees got me there. So I had to make a slight adjustment on the idle screw. The bike was just shutting down, going down hills. The idle screws on these are very sensitive, so you don't want to go too far. But I just did a half a turn. Seems to have cleaned that up pretty nicely. I hope you enjoyed my initial review on the Smart Carb. I'm going to be doing more testing on this as I get into doing some longer rides and higher elevation. I'm also planning to compare the performance of this carburetor versus a fuel injected TPI bike, so stay tuned for that. Until then, I'll see you on the trails.